Hundreds of people have been enjoying the BBC's first ever Music Day in Bradford. The city is part of a nationwide celebration to bring together different generations and communities through their love of music. There have been brass bands, a children's big sing, rock bands and classical performances too. The party's still going strong in City Park and Harry is there. Harry, it looks to have been an absolutely brilliant day. Do you know, it's a long time since I've enjoyed myself so much. This has been a wonderful success. At the moment, we've got the Bradford Youth Orchestra and about to start on cue. Look at that. The Bradford Festival Choral Society. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed for doing that. Two people who've been involved in other kinds of things as well today. Tell us what you've done. Uh, yeah, my name's Andrew Griffiths and I played in classical guitars this morning. It's been a really nice atmosphere and good weather and... My brother's also played three times uh, on stage and he's, he's performing like, right now. You've really enjoyed it and you have as well. Tell me what you've done. Yeah, I played in percussion and it was really fun performing with all the others on stage and it has been really good weather for It's been it. a wonderful thing. Other kinds of people have turned up as well. I'm a man, I can't do two things at once. This lady can watch and she can also do the hula hoop as well. Do you know, one of the main things for me though was the, the wonderful situation we had about 1.30 when seven and the school children really got involved in something. Now, you may remember, I went to Ollerton Primary School and rehearsed for the big sing and also the percussion experience. This was the big one, though. This is how they did. Love was out to get me. That's the way it seems. You see, I hit all the right notes. Not necessarily in the right order. I'm a believer, I couldn't leave her if I tried. And how appropriate to sing this song here in Bradford. To ride the bee, no, 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 no. No place to ride the bee when I am with you. There's no and for those of you who can't sing... Right, what do you think of me as a singer? Rubbish. Oh, thank you very much. What did you enjoy about it the most of all? Um, all the songs and how good they were singing it. We're really singing with a lot of passion. And the music that they played. Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite song? Um, no Place I'd Rather Be. Yeah, rather nope, rather I like that. Rather I like that. Ching, ching, ching. Nothing worth it. No worth it. You know, my producer said that I was like that character out of the Vicar of Dibley. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. And that was my singing. This is fantastic at the moment. Helen Richmond, one of the organisers. I'll tell you something. This has been astonishing, hasn't it? It's been a wonderful day. Part of um, the Music Hub's role is to organise large-scale events like this, and we've been absolutely thrilled with how it's gone today. You, you never really know, do you, how a first event is going to go. Has it exceeded expectations here in Bradford? Absolutely, and the fact that we've got about 50 schools together and all these children are experiencing all this wonderful live music is fantastic. And I, I suppose this could be the... Uh, the thing that might just roll on and on and on in years ahead. Can we look forward to that, possibly? Absolutely. I mean, we've been running big sing events for the last 15 years, getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and so there's no reason why not. We hope so. So what's been the highlight for you? I love the school children. I thought that was a wonderful experience, but this, too, we've got the uh, Bradford Festival Chorus uh, uh, Choir here at the moment. They're wonderful. I think the fact that the partners are working together and the um, Southbank Symphony are working with the orchestra, it's wonderful. 
so much more going on tonight as well. The rock bands and everything coming up, aren't they? Yeah, the children are absolutely loving that. I did see you dancing with the with the big singer, Harry. I'm yeah, so... yeah, I, I did the very best I could. Hannah, lovely to talk to you. Okay, you know, you. we've also had Radio 3 involved. I feel that when you mention Radio 3, I should bow because their in tune programme came from the uh, Carla Sangam, which of course is the city's South Asian community centre. Now, performers from the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra were there, and we've put together a brand new piece. I'll let Cathy Killick explain. In a rehearsal room in Bradford, a unique band of musicians play a wild assortment of instruments from east and west. Four of the musicians usually play classical instruments for the BBC Philharmonic, but joining forces with two Asian musicians has let them create music that defies tradition and creates a style all its own. It's like magic. Each one is an accomplished musician in his own right, and it's fantastic to come together and create that confluence of ideas to create new music. I play Irish fiddle, amongst other things, and it just seemed to fit with the flute. You know, Vijay was playing his flute, and I thought, that sounds vaguely Irish, you know, so I tried something Irish over the top, and that was one of the things that worked, so we kept it. performed this afternoon live for BBC Radio 3 from the Kalasangam Arts Centre in Bradford, allowing music lovers nationwide to hear what can happen when different cultures play together. <music> Uplifting, joyful and full of different flavours, the music's a reminder that true harmony can come from wildly different sources. Cathy Killick, BBC Look North, Bradford. Cathy, thank you very much indeed. You know, good old Radio Leeds have been here in force. I'm going to tell you a bit more about what they've been doing. Uh, under the auspices of Johnny Ianson, some people say he's a good-looking guy, but it's all a question of taste, isn't it, really? But I'll tell you something. We've got uh, loads of bands have popped in and out for uh, Johnny to interview, and we've experienced it throughout the course of the afternoon. And one of them is Maggie Eight. They describe themselves as Hindi Indie. We'll go into that a bit more detail later on, but this is what they're all about. And time will follow you this time. I'll follow you in all your madness. Blamed on sadness this time. I'll follow Well, they're pretty good, aren't they? We've got Niv and Mark here now. Tell me, um, describe your style of music. Hindi Hindi, that doesn't mean much to me. Tell me about it. Um, well, it's just we use um, Bollywood influences, a bit of Hindustani classical, and then the boys like a bit of indie and rock and folk, and so we sort of you, merge. You, you the got two. some wow reviews today. People were loving you on stage, weren't they? Oh, really? I'm so yeah, glad. they really enjoyed it. So, yeah. what has this meant to you guys to give the chance of uh, showing yourselves off? Well, show off. We did a great day for the people. See everyone around, enjoying themselves in the sun. You know, it's good for everyone to come together. Like lots of generations, sort of mixing. It's been brilliant. Uh, do you get nervous at all about it? A little bit, I think. The more you play, the less nervous you get. Yeah. We didn't have time to get nervous today. No, no, we were straight on. We were straight on. So. I mean, the whole thing, though, has been such a wonderful experience, hasn't it, for you? Yeah, it's brilliant, yeah. Um, it's great to be here playing in front of all these people and different kind of people from all over the community coming to see it, different genres of music being brought together, yeah. Well, so we've, we've really enjoyed you guys, so, so well done. I, I want to bring Johnny in now. Um, uh, Johnny, how important has this been for Radio Leeds today to give 
these kind of guys a platform. Yeah, it's been a great opportunity actually because you know we broadcast it on the radio, we streamed it live online as well, and I think Bradford really has done itself proud because today we're showing the diversity and the creativity that this city has, and, and you know they reveled in it today. The sunshine came out, the people came out, and the bands and the music came out. Everything from this incredible classic music we've had today, Hindi India that was just fantastic, uh, jazz bands, jazz ensembles from schools, choirs, the like. It was just a really great reason to celebrate what we have here in this yeah. city. Watching you, you've had such enthusiasm about this as well. I've loved it. I've, I've absolutely loved it because the people have been so warm, they've been so nice, and we've been in this cafe all day with our special little live lounge as well, and I love taking the opportunity to show just how good we are in what we have, and, we, you know, it's Thanks, been great Johnny. to do that. Thanks for that. Now, we're going to do something into the weather now. So, come on, this is my band. We've done a, a Beatles kind of uh, uh, cover. Do you remember what the Beatles Please Please Me looked like? Well, this is our version of what the BBC one was like, and here we go into the weather, right? Last night I said these words to my girl. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, please, please me, oh yeah, like I please you. Have you ever had an introduction to the weather like that, Keely? <laughs> Absolutely not, Harry, and I hope you don't expect me to join in and sing the forecast. That would be a terrible way uh, to end the programme. Uh, what a lovely day we've had. You saw the sunshine out there in Bradford. We got up to around 21, 22 degrees across some parts of West Yorkshire today, but I'm afraid it's going to cool down a little bit tomorrow. That doesn't mean to say it's going to be a bad day but it is going to be a rather blustery one quite windy particularly for the dales but we will also have some pleasant spells of sunshine and then actually settled weather is here to stay for the next few days through next week as well as high pressure pushes in from the west not completely dry there could be the odd shower uh, but generally uh, settled weather with some sunshine you can just about make out this strip of cloud which pushed eastwards through this afternoon it's actually a cold front i don't think there was very much rain on it perhaps the odd spot across the hills but it has introduced now fresher conditions so uh, through this evening and overnight it looks largely dry with broken cloud and clear spells and temperatures overnight are going to drop back to around 9 or 10 degrees 10 is 50 Fahrenheit and towards the end of the night that breeze will start to pick up so the sun will rise in the morning at 4.38, setting again at 9.32, and those are your high waters. We've got some coming up uh, in the next hour, but then these are your high waters for tomorrow in Scarborough at 18 minutes past 7. So we start the day with plenty of sunshine, but it is going to be a blustery day, a bright day, but a breezy one. Windy, in fact, I think in some spots, particularly across the Dales, that's where we'll have uh, the strongest of the gusts. And you can see there are a few showers on the charts, but they will be very well scattered, fairly isolated. You're always more likely to catch one through the afternoon and if you're in the west. But actually, uh, for most of us tomorrow, there will be a good deal of dry and bright weather with some spells of sunshine. Temperatures are not as high as we got up to today, but still 16 degrees, 17 degrees. 17 is 63 Fahrenheit. Less windy on Sunday. Sunny spells, occasionally showers and that's really the forecast for the next few days largely fine and settled just the odd shower harry keely and uh, nicola thank you very much indeed we've still got some uh, wonderful performances to look forward to here at uh, the music day in bradford you're just seeing the uh, youth orchestra getting a thoroughly deserved round of applause as well as the uh, festival choral society choir as well it's been that kind of situation we've got rock bands still to come over the course of the next uh, hours or so you know for me it's been one of those magical days that uh, i'll look back on with a great deal of pride for a long time to come i think to see all the children get themselves together here though was the highlight for me we thought we'd put together one or two highlights for you to enjoy again from all of us tonight Buskers on the street and like rappers and singers, but we're not used to seeing orchestral kind of pieces around the area, so I think it's really good. There's a music for different communities, and we are waiting for the uh, Indian music. Now let's see what is going to start. I just think Bradfordians need to buy into it and bring themselves down here. They've missed out something spectacular if they've missed it. It's been absolutely fantastic. I think the best thing about it is to see all these children performing. They're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'd 
I'd rather be